Got the world saying who's that? You the illest and prove that. Pull up your bootstraps. Try walking in my shoes. Even when I felt useless, I spit the most ruthless. We fighting like ruthless. You fall in my foot. And when I'm down, I fight hardest. So I go the farthest. The most honest artist. Try walking in my shoes. Murder you is my new twist. You grabbing your crucifix. Can't walk in my footsteps. Check me fall down Yo, in my foot. I keep a permanent screw face. These cowards is too fake. Hanging you by your shoelace. I have your neck in a blue brace. Just finding the metal plate, your limbs in the suitcase. I diss the bitches that you chase. I move at a new pace, squeeze ain't like the toothpaste. You move units, but who's taste? They say that I'm too crazy. The real Bobby Boucher. You only got a few days to guard your grill and toupee. I'm the hero that you praise. I got dangerous ways. I have you licking Kool Aid, floating in the pool dead. You in the bed that you made. Was that gangster you played? I can't even tell you who's safe. I make niggas lose faith. I make niggas lose teeth. They choose fate. Welcome to XGWL Charge, episode number 85, and it's been a long time when we're here at the Scott Strait Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Hola amigos, I am Hector Diaz, along here with Joshua and... You know something, Hector? Yeah. We had this place all but boxed up because uh, we had to pay for your gambling debts. Wait, so wait, yeah. I don't have any gambling debts, and here comes the XG Dub, the new XGWL Ultimate Champion, the Great D. The Great Gump, as I oh. like to call him. What I'm back in full force. How can you call him the Great Dump when he's the XGWL Ultimate Champion? Look, look, his persona makes XGWL look like they're in the ghetto. What? You heard what I said. How could you say something like that? I just said it. What does he think he is, the men in black? Come on, man. Well, there's nothing wrong with Let's see what he has to say. Not what I call greatness, boots. <laughs> Shut up for a minute. Joshua, yeah, wake I up! Thought he was smelling like a funky odor in that room. Oh, <laughs> would you stop with that? Honestly. How could you keep doing what you're doing just... Hector, don't make me slap you upside your bald head. Come on, man. What do you mean bald head? Look at the full head of hair I have. If you call that full head of hair, but versus my looks or so... Oh, um, you know, no. You're the one who's got less hair than I do. Let's go with our opening yeah, match yeah. as we have big business challenging Trey Steele and Apollo for their XGWL Tag Team titles. You know, it's been a long time since I've seen Max. Mike Mexico, uh, Rexel, so it should be good. Yeah, you're, you're Chad, too... Chad you're, makes up the close down a couple of buffets, but we'll be alright. Yeah, you're two buddies right there. I know you had a couple of buffets over there with Chad Miller. Yeah, 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 I do. And so, uh, a couple more title matches we have on tonight's card. Tammy is going to be defending her newly won Lady Pro titles against Sarah Warfield. Oh boy. Yeah, and last time we were on air, I said that Tammy was going to win it, and she sure did. Yes, yeah, so and Jimmy yes, Nightmare Nick it. Mary on his first title defense against the former champion Rick Acid. Acid. <laughs> oh wow. I, I'm yeah. going to tell you right now, I do not miss that. You do not miss it? No. Well, welcome back, buddy boy. Oh. Um, you have been down in Mexico on a donkey for about four years, so yeah, welcome back, buddy boy. Well, I haven't been on any donkey, I don't know what you're talking about. You always know what I'm talking about. And also we're at the debut of, of the 2011 draft pick, Keith Storms. Actually, correct, 2012 draft pick. 
So it'll be very interesting to see. And here comes the XGWL Tag Team Champions, Trey Steele and Apollo. Honestly, though, we got this uh, purple monkey dishwasher we got coming out here. <laughs> what do you mean, purple monkey? You, I can't, you racist. <laughs> there you go again. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, but he is a reject. And look, it, it looks like he's blind in one eye with them shades on. Just saying. Oh, I'm not even going to respond to that. As the XGWL tag team tiles are on the line. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have two of the best here. Tracy and Apollo. Let me ask you something. Yeah. What bell rings? How could you honestly respond to me without with the outlandish comments that I made? Because I would rather ignore you than like, like go on a five-minute rant about him. Well, as, hey, you work with me, so yeah. yeah. As we get this match started, and oh, what a form shot there by Chad Miller! As we got but, here, you know, honestly though, we haven't been on air in a while, and Chad Miller looks like he has no green rust about him. It's like he's a rare form. I do say so myself. Yeah, I know that's your best friend right there, going after Trey Steele. Well, I mean, you gotta be friends with Big Boy. And oh, nice side rushing leg sweep there. Honestly, though, he tried dating Penny Dreadful once, but he said that relationship was kind of dreadful. Oh, don't go there. Why would you want to go? Too late. I done did. Care to elaborate? Um, no, there's a tag into Apollo, and we have here the, like, two of the most, two, two of the most technically sound wrestlers in, in the tag team division. You know, you know what Apollo's been doing while we've been off the air? i like to know. He, he's been street boxing. It's like a new form sport, and he, he kind of is the street boxing champion. See, that wasn't negative. That's just true. Well, I'm yet to see that, and what a backbreaker there by Apollo. And out. Yes, well, I mean, look. Nicely he's done. He's wrestling improved. The skills have improved, so and, obviously oh, he's doing something. Oh! Oh my goodness, just pulling on the arm. You, you know, he tried to break Chad's arm. Was that good for you even paying attention? And, oh my god, this vicious submission maneuver. Wouldn't you call that the Kimura lock? Um, no, but you could call it a... Head scissors, a modified octopus stretch. Well, look, I say it's illegal because he's trying to break uh, Chad's arm. And now the tag in the mic, Mexico, what a clothesline. He did the Mexican splash. I think, ah. Look. Well, I'm, not, I'm not commenting on that one. As, and now Apollo just needs to the midsection. Apollo likes to cheat. Just know that. He's not a cheater. He's... He, he tried to break a dude's arm. Hey, it's part of the game. Yeah, yeah, part of the game. I understand. The tag to Chad it's Miller. It's a dude's arm. I understand. Great it, management skills. There. Oh, what double team maneuver there. Hector, was you a manager once because you got great managing skills. That's all I um, can say. Actually, I do not, and I'd rather not. Because I'm, I'm very comfortable here at the commentator position, to be honest, and Nice well, reversal. I mean, it, it's obvious to me you seem like, you know, you like to advocate people breaking people's arms. I do but not. At, oh, wow, what a drop trick there. a nice tree of woe there, honestly. And, Ooh, oh, nice nicely done. Thank you. I got to, not you, Mike Mexico, with that head scissors takedown. And what a side rush and leg sweep. As you were saying about the arm breaking. I mean, as, I mean, you gotta do what you can. Like, if he's gonna go over the submission hole, it's best to isolate that body part you wanna yeah, apply yeah, submission like, hole. If he then. comes out here, gets mad at you, says, uh, I'm gonna break his arm, I'm just gonna stand back, grab some popcorn, and watch him. And, and now, man. the tag to a Trey Steele. Popcorn. According to you, you deserve what you get. <laughs> I'm not a wrestler, just. Yeah, how many times do I have to tell you that? And and just a back and forth here between Mike Mexico and, and Chad and, and Trey time. Steele. And now the tag, putting him up. Come on, uh, Chad, you moved out of the way. And, 
What the? Oh, not a suplex. That was an orange dragon. Oh, that was a suplex and a And now going with the neck breaker. What a... Yeah, yeah, see, this is the thing I've been saying all along. Mike Mexico and Chad Miller are the better tag team. That's all. Can you elaborate a little bit further? I can. I mean, they got great skills. They're working together as a team. And they're actually doing a better job of doing tag team than uh, the purple guy and the boxer. So, yeah, I can elaborate. Well, well, big business, they've been a tag team here in XGW since day one for actually, you know, more than five years now. They're called small business. What are you saying? Not small business, big business. Yeah, they're a big business, all right. Oh, what a takedown. That modified STO. No. Looks like to me somebody needs to get new threads. What a so. what a clothesline! Oh wow, what an over over the back face buster! And Trey still going like a house of fire on, on Mike Mexico with a scoop slam. Now with an elbow. Why isn't Chad Miller in there doing something? Because part. because he's not the legal competitor. So. You advocate illegal arm breaks, but I'm just saying. And now, Mike Mexico try to come back here. And now, I'll rake of the eyes. You know, honestly, if we threw Mike Mexico a burrito and this match would go faster. Um, no. Oh, <laughs> what an inverted atomic drop. And now, Trey Steele's saying Mike Mexico to the ropes, and what a back body drop. Yeah, it's something we're familiar with. Wow. There's been plenty of back body drops through your table in your day, huh? Right now, you are not making any sense. Now, Do I ever? No. The tag to Chad Miller. People tune into this show to hear me ramble. <laughs> huh. Uh, oh, yeah. and now Chad Miller just punching away at Trey Steele. You got the big sure behemoth, you. the six foot nine, three hundred and sixty pound Chad Miller, former football offensive lineman. Yeah, I can see why he was an offensive lineman. I mean, look how he's built. Golden Corral does not like him. <laughs> Obviously not. And wow, look at the power of Trey Steele able to pick him up into the back by drop in now. Top rope! Oh what a send time. I mean I give Trey Steele that. He was able to back drop him, you know. Yeah. I mean, let's not that's forget amazing. the power that Chad Miller had. That that yeah, Trey Steele, well, I mean. I eat big boys in wrong uh, corner. And now, reversal. After reversal, yes. And now, Chad Miller working on the arm. And oh, what a face buster! That was a nice face buster, I agree. And now the tag it's is. It's time for a tag. Out. Here comes Mike Mexico and Trey Steele. Irish rubs him to his team's corner and reversal there by Mike Mexico. Just going to work and oh, get got oh, with that drop kick. Though, Trey Steele's keeping Mike Mexico on the ropes. Hey, that's what he's got to do. Just wear him down and and then and then hit him with his finishing maneuver. I suppose oh. they're tag team champions for a reason, I guess. Nice is done with that back body drop and now. Has him up on his shoulders and Oh wow, what a swing around. Sidewalk slam and now going to the top rope. You know, I figured he would go for the pin, but Oh Splash instead. Wow. There we go. There we go. The cover now. Only a Only one a count. One count. See that's what I'm saying. If you don't carefully plan things, you only get a one count. Well, I thought he had him there. Sorry. But I honestly thought he had him right there, but Mike Mexico and, was able to show some toughness and kick out. And you know what, Hector? You know what's funny? Uh-huh. In my previous wrestling experience, and I know you're going to say, no, you don't have any, but uh, I was a manager once, so yeah. Well, Out of the two of us, well, I actually did something. Well, I can well, I can't believe the, the part about you having man, managerial experience. Well, you hear me talk about it on all the time week after week so yes yeah. well, if, and if you if you talk about it enough I'm sure you'll believe it but 
I seen you be in somebody's corner and, and give some managerial help. Yeah, you seen uh, not your other episodes with me in the manager corner. Come on now. Yes, and I know that that you'll do a couple of dirty hand techniques every now and then. Hey, and what a scoop slam! I gotta do make my person win. That's all I can say. You know, the tag into Mike Mexico. So hey, you want to go to lunch with the uh, Mike Mexico after this match is over? Um, no. It, it, why not? Because I don't know what good restaurants are here in the Midwest. I'm sure we can figure something out. Anyways, as now Apollo getting the upper hand in here. Oh, what a drop kick, knocking. I don't know if this is the and, time to pitch in this or not, but. Oh wait, the cover. No, the light suplex. Oh, kick it after one. This may not be the time to mention this, but uh, Hector, I heard a rumor that Tony was trying to sell XGWL. I, sure do that. I, I highly doubt it. And and now Apollo with a submission hold. And oh man, can Mike Mexico get out of it? Oh no. And oh, he taps out. Mike Mexico has no choice but to tap oh. out. And this match is I, over. I'll give Apollo credit to where credit's due. My nice submission, but at least he didn't try to break his arm this time. He had no choice but to submit because if he would have had him in that hold a little bit longer. That arm would have been broken. Or well, yes, arms and shoulders. As we take you through some of the highlights here, as, as Trey Steele and Apollo have another successful title defense. It's just here, just great double team, good tag team chemistry from Apollo and Trey Steele. And this Northern Light Soup was very impressive. So well, I suppose you want me to eat my words, huh? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's you know what they say. You should keep your words short and sweet in case you have to eat them later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now, go down the tea. You have a buffet of words to, to eat right there. Well, Hector, look at my hand and how close it is to you. Oh, don't get me started with any of that. Just saying. Well, anyways, we got we got to take a commercial break. And we, when we come back, there's going to be some more XGWL action. We will have the debut of a new XGWL wrestler, and his name is Big Thunder Keith Storms. So stay tuned for that. Look what you've been missing. The Trends Journal, the only place you get the facts. Current events form future trends. And the truth. That's why I'm a political atheist. And the trends. Fast food, health food restaurants. All in one place. For your seatbelts fastened for the stock market crash of 87. He predicted the stock market crash of 1987. The major media missed it. But world-class trends forecaster Gerald Salenti predicted the crash months before it happened. In USA Today, Salenti warned the world of a 9-11 scale attack and the panic of 08. You predicted what the dot-com bubble before it happened, the real estate bubble and the crash before it happened. Right. Investing in gold, when gold was at $275 per ounce, Salenti predicted the beginning of the gold bull run. Watch gold. Gold prices could go to the stratosphere. Dr. Salenti, the truth surgeon, has been cutting to the bone with 32 years of cutting edge and accurate trend forecasts, unrivaled in his profession, and trenchant in-depth multidisciplinary analysis. Oh damn! And that I match is right this, now. Um, Hector, I hate to do this, buddy, but Keith, if you're listening, I offer my managerial skills to you. Just hit me up and down here at the broadcast booth. Um, no, you are contracted to be a color commentator. Just keep, do keep that in mind. And we have here Dragon Boys get a 
He's, he's, oh man, I can't believe he has this challenge to go up against the debuting Keith Storms. Yep, we got Dragonfly coming up here. Dra what Dragonfly? He looks like a Dragonfly. He looks like he pissed himself green. That's all I can say. What? what? He did. He looks like he pissed himself green. Stupid Irish. He's not Irish, he's Japanese. Well, Japanese, Cantonese, on my knees, whatever. <laughs> what? What in the... Oh, oh my god, something I can't, I can't even talk to you at times. And now, here comes the debuting Keith Storms. Yeah, he looks awesome. Oh my lord. If looks can kill, this man will be on death row. Yeah, he's going up against Piss Boy in the ring. <laughs> oh, jeez. What? I he mean, pissed himself green. I mean... I mean... He's pissed himself green with Indy. What? Nothing. How about we move on? Sure. How's the weather out there? Well... <clears throat> how's the weather in the arena? I don't know. Well, it's cold because they got the air conditioning on it, and it's, and it's spring now. Oh, yeah? And, I mean, we still got two tile matches to go. I mean, Tammy defending her her Lady Pro title against Sarah Warfield, and Jimmy well, Nightmare... Well, that's the Lady Pro's title. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Nightmare and Nick Murray defending his newly won pro tag against Rick Acid. You know, Tony nearly gave me a citation for hitting on Tammy. You suck me. That was a one time thing, though. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, all I can say is hey, baby, uh, hit, me out, hit on me and you get titles. That's all. Oh. Oh, jeez, I'm going to get a citation. Oh, God. There's another 50 grand down the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, you love doing that, don't you? Oh, yeah. You know it. Spend my money big. <laughs> well, why would you spend it on, on stupid, frivolous things? I'm just wondering. Well, I say what I think. I'm a thinking man. <laughs> oh, well, your thoughts need to change a little bit, buddy boy. And... Oh, right. what a slam there by Keith Storms. You know, honestly, though, <coughs> you brain down hard. What? Like you said, change it up, and I said it was puke green. Oh, what a, what a kick to the back there by Keith Storm on the Dragon Boy. I would hate to be the man that faces Keith Storms. I would love to see Keith Storms beat you down in the ring, to be honest. That would be... That would be... Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You just love for me to get beat down, don't you? <laughs> hey, I mean, you do run your mouth a lot. Well, hey, and Big no Money way. Inc., listen to me, Big Money Inc. threw me out for asking for a dollar. Come on now. And, I mean, and no way they're really didn't. backing it up. And you didn't stop me either. There's footage of it. You didn't stop me. You let him do it. <laughs> and now, what a headlock takeover there. I mean, you told me not to get in the ring, but still. And, oh, what a Samoan drop by Keith Storms. You know, him and Samoa Joe's got a lot in common. And now, Keith Storms with that devastating dragon lock and... Damn. Dragon Didn't Boy able to get out of him. And now, Dragon Boy trying to muster up some offense with that bulldog. He's got to use his speed now against the menacing monster that is Keith Storms. Yeah, that's right. He's got to use his speed against him because, honestly, he couldn't match him any other way. And what a form shot. Oh, what a takedown. I mean, I get, you gotta give credit for Dra to Dragon Boy for his resiliency and and able to have the balls to get in the ring against this guy. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, kick to the back. Well, once we agree on and again, another kick to the back. Keep him down. And Dragon Boy with a counter. What was they saying in the professional business? Oh! Beat his butt, Seabass. 
Nicely done with that speed. Thank and you. Not you, Dragon Boy. And just vicious strikes there from Keith Storms. And Don't you think Dragon Piss? There you go again. Yeah, what a brain buster there. That was a brain buster. And now. And what a counter and into a neck breaker. And that's what Dragon Boy needs to do. He needs to pick up the tempo of this matchup. Otherwise, he's going to be done. And Hey, bring him over to the announce table. I'll help you slam him through. Oh, wow. What? You want to go through next? And what a clothesline there by Keith Storms. And now, what's he doing? Oh, wow! What a senton! Except that he just broke him in half and it's done. And now he got up on his shoulders. What's he going for? And oh, my goodness! What does he call that? Perfect. That is called the perfect storm. Oh, jeez. Now the cover shoots the half. One, two, and this thing is over. Hey, hey when he hits the perfect storm, it's over here. Oh my god. Uh, we like, as we take you to some of the highlights of this matchup and and, the, and this, this counter, I mean, Dragon Boy tried to put up a fight, but Keith Storm was just too no, no, powerful. Okay. I think we're going to, I hate to call it, but I think we're going to leave the EMTs down here, wouldn't you say? I, I suppose so, and you see that devastating finishing maneuver. Yep, so was. I'm not thinking. Have a talk with Keystones and to ask what he calls that because that was very devastating. Of well, a finishing maneuver. I call it the perfect storm because, well, it's just simply perfect. Oh, jeez. What? Well, and it is perfect. Yeah, but Dragon Boy's still down and. But, heck yeah. When we drafted Keystones, I called it right then and there. I said, this guy is going to be bad. The first record. Oh, I'm getting a word now that that someone has a, a little word for somebody. And I think this certain person that has a word for you. Hmm. Oh, what did I do now? Hmm. Let's have a listen to it. Let's take you to that right now. Oh, boy. You know, I have something to say regarding XCWL's Hidden Fall. I'm disappointed. Now, why am I disappointed? Well... There's things that really is just throwing the obvious. For starters, let me actually make this clear. Management, my name is Sherman Sampson. I changed my name. Sherman Sampson. Do you not understand that? Get your name played to get your get it get it right. Second, now I have to admit, I have to congratulate John Pryor on becoming the pure champion. I'm I I'll admit, you deserve it, Pryor. You deserve to regain your pure title back. And uh Another third one is Chris Klein. Klein, my real the real reason why I have beef with you is because you stick your nose in between me and Black, and you don't know the whole story behind it. The whole story, yes, it started in in NYCW, but it uh, but did you look between it than what happened after? So you need to understand what the hell you're getting yourself into, boy. And here's and here's the fourth one. There's three prison yard matches, but none of us actually earned the shot. I'm disappointed at the fact that I didn't earn my way into becoming being in the pure title um, prison yard match. I will. I do not like to get. I do not like to be given a title opportunity on a silver platter. I want to earn it. I want to win a match. And then here's the ultimate title prison yard match. Same the usual suspects, nonetheless. Yes, it's Zodakai, Zodakai Extreme Tony, AJ Cool. Slash King Hurt. Ah, well, I don't think Slash has been in a world title picture, but yeah. Great to, well, great to, great to, great to get the pass because he has a rematch clause. Jonathan Magnum, he's the ultimate champion, but yeah. And one thing I don't understand is why these guys. I mean, they never earned a shot. Again, great to, he has a rematch clause, so he's he's okay. Magnum, he's the ultimate champion, so he's okay as well. But, uh, you know, and second of all, why should AJ Cool be in the world, I mean, the ultimate title match? I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. It makes absolutely no sense. Second of all, he claims that he's the leader of the anarchists, and second of all, and AJ Cool, you are a terrible leader, and I could do way better than you. As a matter of fact, I'll challenge you for your leadership. 
Because I'll prove to you I could be a better leader of the anarchists than you have. And here's one last problem I have. It's that little bitch-ass commentator, Joshua. You know, don't you have a clan? Don't you have a clan meeting to go to? Cause seriously, you fucking racist, bigot-ass bitch. Cause seriously, I like to beat the living shit out of you, and I'm just gonna do everyone a favor. Just do it. Slap some sense into you, and we're gonna have a party that where I beat on the ground, bloodied. Cause seriously, Joshua, here's the thing. I was born in East LA, but I'm from Murrieta, California. So if you wanna face me, get in the ring. If you wanna, if you got something to say, say it to my face, and I'll make sure that you stay in the ground, covered in your own blood, you little bitch.